Welcome to another Guardians of Watcher video. Um, I am Dewey, and this is my fifth hobby vlog. So my fifth week of hobby vlogging. God, I can't believe Articom was about six weeks ago now. Um, and we are back in with my Serpent Riders and Arwen hiding behind Agar's Earthshade. Um, so all I've done so far is used uh, Zandri Dust to um, paint the bases and then I'm just washing them with Agrax Earthshade um, this is Solidan obviously um, and then I'm going to dry brush with the Zandri, Zandri dust again and then um, a Shabti Bone to get some real deserty looking pieces um, so that I'm just going to try and get the bases sorted and to my liking for my Serpent Riders before I get cracking on the actual models um, and then I've obviously got the bases which I've sounded for the dismounts well for six dismounts I've got another six serpent guard to do um, and I thought I'd give them a little bit of a special just a bit of a rocky base because um, I've given the serpent riders them and then I've got Arwen which I'm going to start tomorrow um, and just start the horse and get all uh, get as many base colours down as I can um, as it's a beautiful model and I actually quite want it to finish because I want it to go alongside the 9 ring race on horse so as you can see my next project for this week was um, what is Arwen foot mounted um, these are just base colours so far the, the horse won't be grey I'm going to try and do a, a white horse um, but from reading things coming up from a grey is, is the best way to do it and it does I've, I've tried it before and it does provide a nice solid background um, so so far I've just done a simple Dawnstone um, horse uh, Caliban green for Frodo uh, Regal blue which is the old it's the old one so I'm not entirely sure the conversion um, Rust grey for Arwen's under underdress which would probably be like an Ulthan grey, I think it's Ulthan grey, or Fumrazine grey um, final colour. So kind of like a, a quite a light grey. Um, and just a Stormhost silver, because I want her sword to be nice and bright um, and really, really interact with everything. So that's so far. Um, next, I'm just going to use. Um, bit of Kessler Flash. I use this for pretty much all my um all my skin. Um but just put different washes over it. Um I'm gonna use Raiklin flash shade. Um so that's the plan so far and then her hair is a deep brown so I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna do that as of yet. Um but I really want her to stand out against the black of the Nazgul. So I'm I've just um just adding this little bit in just to show you that I've changed the um how I'm gonna do the bases. The Zandri dust I think looked far too dark. Far too dark. Um especially I highlighted it up with Shantri dust and then a Shabti bone and it just didn't quite work. So I've gone to this which is simply a Shabti bone washed with Agrax Earthshade, dry brushed with a shumpty bone and I really like it and I think once all the horses are painted up and the base is tidied it will look really nice so these three here have just got no shumpty bone Agrax Earthshade uh, wash at the moment um, I've just added some skin on Arwen um, and I'm just going to finish off all the base colours on that um, and then start layering up the horse I think um, before washing it and then obviously keep layering it up, keep layering it up, keep layering it up to get, try and get a really nice white that's the aim is to try and get a really nice white um, I don't know how well I'm going to do it and I don't want big dark recesses um, but I can just try so we've come in just before I'm doing the null oil wash on the horse um, the like I said, the skin, the skin was uh, washed with Reichland's flesh shade. Um, Frodo himself was shaded with the built-in green, 
and the Drakenhof Nightshade was used on all the blues. Um, and I think it's going to really, really make it stand out. Um, the aim is to get her under garments to an um, to uh, frozen grey or I think it's yeah orphan grey. Um, so they're kind of a bright white colour, well, a whitish colour with hopefully like a bluish tint. Um, that's pretty much all I've done. I've I've done the hooves in um, the uh, Eshin grey as along with her boots. Um, so there's still that grey blue feel. Apart from that, that's about where they're at at the moment. Just gonna let the wash dry once I've done the no oil wash. Um, and I'm gonna finish off dry brushing these bases. So after. Um, the washes have dried. I've literally just gone back over the um, the blues with um, Cantor blue and rust grey, um, just to get that kind of second base coat in with the layers all, with the um, recesses all uh, washed. Then on, I've done the same on the mounted model. Along with Frodo, I've gone over his again um, with the green, and I'm going to definitely edge the highlight. And then I've gone over the whole horse pretty much with Dawnstone. Um, only thing is leaving next to the um, reins quite dark and some recesses quite dark. I'm going to wash it again with a thinned out non oil now. Um, and then continue to highlight up the blues. Um, and the skin and everything else. I just thought I'd show you how I'm going to try and achieve a really nice, a really kind of whitish greyish colour on the horse. Just with layers and layers and layers. So you come back in after the wash has been done and I've also highlight, highlighted up the blues again. Um, just to give it a bit more depth um, and I've also gone over the outer part of the inner cloth um, as you can see here with the two tones of inner cloth um, with rust grey then an orthon grey with a very very light um, non-oil wash over the top which you can see more in the foot model um, and then re-highlighted up the the cloth just to try and give it that bit of depth um, I I do like it but like with any white it's a real struggle or any real bright white it's a real struggle to try and make it work um, so now all I've got to do is tidy up that little bit of blue which somehow got on the reins um, and get the horse up to colour um, as well as just doing a few metal bits on the bridle so you join me back in and it's nearly done I did a layer of um, chromat white and white scar um, to try and get a nice white colour and then I've um, washed it with a light null oil and I'm going to go over it one more time with the white and try and keep it all in the base areas. Um, come on. Oh dear, let's not drop it. Got the eyes on Arwen and the pale eyes of Frodo. I um, just need to do the eyes on the horse and again touch up the white. Apart from that, I'm really happy with it. I think I might leave the hair because there's all lots of braids and everything. But apart from that, they are done. Um, and I'm very happy with them. Just need to base them up. Here we have the final Owen and Frodo. Um, the only downside is I hate how white paint doesn't spread evenly 
um, it's infuriating. So you can see if it focuses in, like it's kind of blotchy. Um, that really annoys me. Um, but I'm glad they're all done. I've just got to varnish it now to make sure it sticks, and then I can base them um, over the weekend and now and finish off their bases because these front four are done. Um, and then I think I might move on to my seven riders, but it's more horses, um, and like I say, I get distracted easily with other stuff. So we'll see. I don't actually decide what I'm going to do until the day of. Just to finish off my hobby vlog this week, I am um, finished off the dry brushing on the bases of the last four seven riders in Solidan, and I can't remember that I've shown these, but I've put um, the serpent guard and Solidan on foot onto their bases. Um, they just need the sand and then spraying black and they're all good to go. <coughs> um, pardon me. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do for this week. I might get cracking on these guys and sort all the horses out. Um, I'm really looking forward to them. Really, really looking forward to them. They're some beautiful models that I've had for a while. And I really want to do them justice. Um, so that is all for this week's hobby vlog. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and showing you some bits and pieces. Um, I've been asked to, via comments on the videos, um, people would like to know how to press mould and how I've painted certain things and step by step for scenery. So in due, due course, I'll get them out. It might not be till after Christmas, um, because obviously uh, I, I work in a restaurant and it gets very, very busy. And also, um, it's Christmas. I'm going to be meeting up with family and everything, so I don't know how much actual time I'll get, and my girlfriend comes back from the Navy. So, we will see. This next week might not be as long, um, as I'm busy on my days off, um, gallivanting about with friends, so just a heads up. Um, please comment, like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you very soon.